that was a weird greeting. I meant to say hi. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Today we are doing a recap of the Commonwealth Pen Show that just happened last weekend. And uncharacteristically of me, I have done a little outline. And the reason I did an outline is because I don't want to forget anything because I always forget stuff. So let me go through the outline with you and show you the goods that accompany the outline as we go. Now, first of all, hi. If you've never been to a pen show before, I urge you to make it possible. They are a lot of fun and very dangerous for the wallet. Anyway, let's get cracking. Commonwealth Pen Show Recap. I'm reading a bit of my outline for you, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, on Friday, we left at midnight and napped along the way. The highlight of Friday was actually going to the Applebaum Bromfield Pen Store, and there were no other plans. Basically, this was the idea, was to go to the pen store, do a little tour, um, check it out, and of course, very excitingly, even more so than the store itself, was getting to see Yost and Annabelle again. So I actually waited outside before they got there, and I knew they were on their way. So I was waiting, and then they crossed the street, and I saw them, and I was like, eee! and then we hugged, and it was really exciting. But the funny thing is that I was recording the outside of, of the store, like just doing a little... Um, storefront video and I could see one of the workers inside she was like watching she's probably thinking what is this weirdo doing and in fairness what was the weirdo doing I was doing video footage to share with you so I'm going to share it with you in just a moment what happened the rest of the Friday was other than the video tour and purchasing of a pen it was a rollerball so it doesn't really count but um, we walked over with Brian and Carrie from Esterbrook and some of the lovely folks from the pen shop. We went out for dinner. Annabelle had lobster for the first time. Uh, great company all around, of course. And then we headed to the hotel to check in. Friday was really about spending time with people. And I thought, I just thought it would be really fun to just share that bit with you. So I'll share some pictures and the overview of the video, I mean the overview of the shop. Here it is. This is my sign to me myself to put it in. Okay, so we are here at the Applebaum Bromfield Pen Shop location, and I'm pretty excited. I'm waiting for Yost and Annabelle to show up, so I thought I would wait outside and record as they show up and arrive. So it'll be really exciting, extra exciting. But here we go. This is the outside. It's really cute. Very pretty. I love the hanging sign. Here's the street we're on. May as well move in there. Uh, also, there's a cookie place that's open till 1 a.m. So this would be the death of me. Hello, please forgive me. I have just driven for nine hours and that, well, eight hours plus naps and come straight here. That's Annabelle, in case you didn't know. So what I'm going to do is a little tour of the shop and try not to leave with anything just yet. Okay, so what we have here is some exquisite Namiki. Oh my goodness. Classic Pilot. Leonardo. Aurora. Near Aurora. I like these Leonardos. Pilot. I want to. Yeah, I want to I can live with taking one of these home. Not sure which one, but one of them. There's the candy that I speak of. Got some retro fifty one. Photo hut. Elmo Marshmallow. Inks. <laughs> Inks. Inks. Got, oh. oh, that one's pretty. The treasure. I'll take that one. That one's got ink in it. It does. Interesting. 
This is all classic goodness. Classic goodness. Okay. Oh, pocket watches, money clips, travel. Crocs. <laughs> Annabelle has lost her mind. <laughs> All the goodies, like cute stuff, accessories, Galen leather, Twisby, Kaveco, Lamy. Very nice. I love pen shops. I love petting everything. And... Okay, now we got refills. <laughs> We got all the refills. You need refills. You can't go wrong with refills. Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, a turquoise space pen. Okay, I'm gonna need that. Oh, ink galore. Okay, watch your step. Inks galore. Oh, look at this. Magnificent. This is awesome. Mont Blanc, Waterman, Lamy, Namiki, some Noodlers, Cross, Parker, Pelican. Oh, more Noodlers. Kafon Faber Castell, Pilot Ido Shizuku. Oh, magnificent. Okay, and then we have Leuchtturm, Philofax, Endless, Gilalo, Clairefontaine, Triumph. More cute accessories, which I'm always a fan of. I love accessories. It makes me feel not guilty. Excellent. Okay. Um, Amadex, which I might also need. Clearance Schaefer Ink, and I bet there's good stuff in there. Okay, we've got Rhodia. Moleskine or Moleskine. Clefontaine paper. Okay, so we're going to come. Okay, so here is the little ink room. So we're gonna come out. We've got paper blanks. And we've got ST DuPont display case. I love this pen. It is the Line D dust black and gold. And I love the Line D pen. It's amazing, amazing nibs, amazing writing experience. Okay, and then. That's Yo's doing work. <laughs> so we have Parker, Waterman's, Pilot, Platinum, Retro Cross, Faber Castell, Annabelle being amazing. And probably my favorite section is the little shop and shop of Mont Blanc. There's some good variety here. I spy glaciers. Notebooks, inks, JFK. I really, really like that yellow one. I don't know what it is, but I like it. That's my kind of yellow. And there's the little notebook ink section. Okay, so overall, I'm pretty excited. I really like that. Yay! So now I get to be here with my ridiculous little microphone and talk to you and try to look in the right spot. So today is Friday. Tomorrow is the first day of the Commonwealth Pen Show. And I will be there. So, yay! So this video has been sponsored by Applebaum. And we are at the Applebaum Bromfield Pen Store in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> uh, and then Friday night we went to the closed hotel bar because it closed very early. And it was hilarious. We played with pens. We decorated Annabelle's Yeti with stickers. And it was just really simple, really fun, like pen show after dark, but just a couple of us. 
So Saturday, I waited in the lineup to get my weekend pass. I decided to follow my own suggestion of uh, following like a route of the tables through the pen show. And so first up, we had Estabrook. Okay, so here we have Annabelle having her hands heated by not simmer because her hands are cold and she's doing nib grinds. <laughs> exactly. Meditation. So Applebaum flew in from the Netherlands and the Bromfield Pen Shop has come in. He brought a couple units of the Dutch Pen Show, Leonardo Momento Zero as the Mont Blanc Glacier. Oh, sorry. Way to bump into me. That's okay. Obviously, beautiful goodies. So we've got a nice selection. It's not a huge show. It's a good size show for going through, talking to people, and really spending your time looking properly which I almost never ever get to do at shows, so I'm really looking forward to this. The legend. I have to say, I love that Estabrook is becoming a reliable feature at pen shows. And the reason I say that is because if you are uncomfortable or you're nervous in these kinds of settings, having something familiar, like someone you have seen before, is very comforting. So I think it's really cool that they are doing that. I did not realize how utterly um, blown out the lighting is. Sorry about that. Good thing I haven't shown you anything. Ugh! Good thing I haven't shown you anything. Uh, I'm just fixing it. There we go. So I just, I really like that. It was, I mean, I had just seen Carrie and Brian the night before, but uh, it was nice to see the new pens, the new colors. I, it's just always fun to see it in person. So I'll share some pictures and stuff with you here. My favorite part is looking forward to the new colors of the new ST and the Camdens and the Pocket Juniors, just because I like colors and I like to see what they're coming out with because it's fun for me. Uh, next up in my list, what? Well, not in my list. In the in the tour of pen tables was Hardy Penwrights. So I was actually standing in the line to buy my pass on Saturday morning when I saw Greg's post that they were at the show, and I didn't know that they were going to be at the show. So when I saw it, I was like, "Ee!" Pretty much, I did this. Um, my wallet quivered in fear, rightfully so, because of course I walked away with two pens. I'm going to show you the pens because I've got, I, I just want to, I want to share the goodies with you and I'm going to do that. So, oh, before I forget, here are the set of Esterbrook stickers that I have. Very cool. So these match the new Esterbrook SD, the Maui. Mm, it smells yummy like stickers. So the two pens that I ended up with is this one and it is, it's just wild. I've... Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna just have that turned off right now. That's very annoying. How incredibly rude, right? Thank you. <laughs> anyway, the the material is a Carolina Pen Company. It's like the orange um, opal or something like that. I don't know. It's really very, very beautiful. And I, 
apparently this has been at shows before and I just never saw it. So this is the danger of going to shows. When you see it in person, just something changes. It features Greg's metal clip. He makes it himself and then metal rings. There's just something about it, like the, the black and the, and the rings. It just felt really elegant and classy to me. So I was just really excited about it. And so this is one, oh, I have it open because I was cleaning it. This is one of the pens I took away. The other pen, it, oh, hang on, sorry. The other pen um, is a companion model, which is my favorite. And it's in the Brooks um, Bohemian Rose Koi. And the funny thing is at DC, I bought the companion to it. And I am not kidding when I say about the companion to it. It is literally the pen that was right next to it. And at, at DC, when I saw them together, I picked this one first. Now, when I was at the Commonwealth show, I, I don't know. I was like, these are two totally different materials. I just, I, I just, oops, sorry. I just really, really loved it. So I ended up with it. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what happens. That's the danger of a pen show. I'm a real, I'm, I'm spastic today. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm just going to raise this. Um, I want to point this out. This was a gift from Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. I love it. And it says you are worthy and it's a lovely reminder. Okay. So I'm all over the place. Um, yeah. So I got these two pens and then I commissioned some other stuff. And so as I was saying about the comfort of someone at a pen show, um, like Esterbrook being a, like a fixture that you come to expect them. Um, uh, Greg is a joy to chat with and the pens make me happy, obviously, because I have so many of them. <laughs> um, they just work really well for me. He's a delightful human being and his wife, Carlene, was there and it was really nice to meet her as well. So thank you to the both of you for chatting with me, entertaining me. Um, moving this pen around the table and making me think someone else bought it so I would realize how desperately I needed it. That's what happened. So I just need to say, and I wrote a note on this, I am going to miss some stuff. I'm going to miss people. And if I miss you, I'm sorry. It is certainly not my intent to miss you. And if I did miss you, please know that you did contribute to my experience and the warm pen show fuzzies. So it's just that my brain is overloaded and I try to remember everything and I can't. So anyway, I'm hitting the tables I stopped at. So next up, uh, just so you know, there were three Nimmeisters present. Uh, we had Joshua of JJ Lax, Annabelle from Applebaum, and Richard Bender of Bender fame, who needs no introduction. I think it's very cool that Nimmeisters make the trek out to pen shows to help tune our pens for us. And I appreciate that because it's not easy to get to a pen show all the time. And some of these Nimmeisters attend many shows. So a huge thank you to the wonderful people who work on our pens and our nibs uh, to perfect them for us. I, I really appreciate it. So before I continue, I would like to give Applebaum a huge shout out. And the reason for that is their sponsorship allowed me to attend the show. I couldn't have gone without their support, so I really appreciate it and thank you from the bottom of my heart because I got to spend time with Annabelle, um, Yoast, and also meet a whole bunch of people and take away pens, so I, I really appreciate it. I did a couple lives. I hope you saw them. Uh, if not, they're somewhere on our feeds. They're on the Apple Bone feed and my personal feed. Um, I have... I'm going to move the pens out of the way. I want to mention... Um, John Corwin. So you may recognize his table. He's got the Flexies balloon that floats up in the air. I got to try out a vintage music nib, which is one of my favorite things ever. And uh, John is also carrying his grandson's homemade iron gall nut ink. So if you're at a show and you want to support a young gentleman in his new ink adventure and you're into dip pens and calligraphy, I would, I just want you to, to know that John has them. And I will put contact information below just so you know, you know, it's just a nice thing. And I think it's wonderful that someone young is doing ink making. It's just really cool. Who knows where it'll, it'll lead and who knows where he'll end up in the pen world. So it's, it's a fun thing to support. So here are a few pen friends that I remember and 
remember the Instagram names. So uh, Karina, Dioti, Chris, and Natalia. And I mean, there's so, so many people. There's more, but that's just, I just wanted to mention this because I got some really cool like postcards, but they're, they're, they're so cool. They feature, um, so it's Carrie Bullet Journal. It features her art and I've got miscellaneous other things. I'm going to share my other things shortly. I picked up a <laughs> wet noodle pencil from John Culmer and it has the, the, the engraving on it is from the Book of Kells. It's the cats and obviously it's like yellow and it's cats. So I didn't even really think twice about it. This was the first thing I bought at the pen show and it doesn't count because it's a pencil. But it was really fun to sit down, try out all the nib grades, try out the nib colors, see the spread of pencils you could pick from. It was very cool. I had never done that before and I have seen the table before. I just, I just never got around to stopping. So it was great that I was able to do that and I've already been using it. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. I'm moving that out of the way. Um, next up, we had the Day Art Store. Uh, Dr. Bagdas and her daughter Alia, they are, they have an Instagram account, Science Notes. Uh, forgive me if I have butchered your names. Um, I got some goodies there and they're very cool. So they do handmade like wood turned um, acrylic and 3D printed goodies. So we have goodies that are for, hang on, sorry. Let me just set the uh, goodies that, what is my word? Um, wax seals, <laughs> sorry. So this is a little wax furnace. I got a little bag of pellets, little baggie of wax pellets. And I have three different stamps. So one is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. One is a fountain pen that's uncapped. One is a globe with an arrow shooting through it. Very cool. And one is a fountain pen nib. That's very cool. So a huge thank you to them. I'm really excited to try these out. It's going to level up my pen pal game, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm going to need some practice because I'm terrible at wax seals. Terrible. But it was really cool to see their table. I will throw in some pictures because the variety is just awesome and there's something for everyone. So it's very fun. What I would like to know, what wax seal design would you like to see? Please let me know down in the usual comments section. Um, on Sunday, I had a lovely breakfast with John and my wonderful friend Murali and Annabelle and Yoast. It was a heart hug. I needed it. I really enjoyed it. And we had a great time playing with pens and just, it was really cool. I have a whole bunch of pens to test out and, and try out. And I'm going to show you some of them. Um, okay, so I've got my goodies here. I got a whole bunch of extra leads. This is so erratic. I thought that having an outline would help me keep it together, but it doesn't. So I got extra leads. I got some colors and the wet noodle. And the wet noodle is basically like a 5B. It's really, really nice for faux calligraphy. <laughs> These tubes are so cute. I really wanted just the tubes. I got strope waffles, a plenty. I was basically fed strope waffles by Applebaum and I'm not complaining. I mean, not fed by Applebaum, but they were at the table. There was a whole box of them. Um, I got two bottles of ink. One is Mondavo, Mondavo's hat. One is flamingo pink and they're irresistibly cute. You could totally justify these adorable little bottles. Um, and at um, Andrews and Associates, I picked up two bottles of Schaefer ink with the inkwell. So, and then I went back the next day and got another one. <laughs> um, so it's got the inkwell built into the bottle. It is very cool. I'm really excited about these because I don't have a lot of cool ink bottles, but I really wanted to get one of these and it was just there and it was a very fair price and in good condition. So that's what we did. So that was my little baggie. Um, I really want to eat that strope waffle right now because I'm really hungry, but I'm not going to eat it because I'll have sticky mouth. Whatever sticky mouth is. I have stickers from Annabelle. This is her symphony fountain pen, which was her piece de resistance for her masters. Uh, sorry, her um, goldsmith, uh, like the, the final project. 
and this is her silver harmonic nib that she drew. Um, I have to make this very special shout out. I, I kind of kept this. So a highlight of the Sunday was hanging out with Kevin and Tony in the back alley of the venue. <laughs> uh, we sat in the sunshine and I learned about cigars and it was a blast. It was wild that so much can happen in a pen show, like so much can come from a pen show and videos and just being a random weirdo on the internet like me and crossing paths with wonderful, fun people. So, um, big hugs to Kevin and Tony. Thank you for that very wonderful experience. It, it made the pen show just next level. Um, let me, okay, so let's go through the pens. I have a whole bunch here. I have some for my friend and some of them are going to be, well, they're all going to be shared, reviewed. I've got the Pilot with the signature nib, a Mont Blanc Glacier with a medium nib. I have a Woodshed Pen Company custom pen with a really cool like micro architect. It's a very fine nib and I really like it. And I have a very special Leonardo Memento Magico in the Saft Green Celluloid. Here is the rollerball that I got. It is a Pix, a Mont Blanc Pix. I was totally drawn to it because of the yellow. So I'm really glad they did something fun. I have, okay, if you saw the live I did on Sunday, you will know I was waffling over which Leonardo to end up with or to take home. And this is the final result. So, <laughs> oh, so embarrassing. Um, there's those. And so then I had these two, I was going to do writing samples, but there's, I've been rambling for so long and Annabelle tuned my, or whetened my harmonic nib for me. So it's like majorly gushy, which is exactly how it should be. And I'm thrilled. So lots of stuff for me to play with. Now, am I missing things? I'm sure I am. Uh, did I have a wonderful time? I had a fantastic time. I don't really know how to describe the feeling of just like hanging out with other pen people and it's just, it's a really nice thing. So anyway, I say this all the time, I, I think, I hope, um, it's a good place with friends and pen friends and pen friends are just like instant friends. So it feels right and it makes me happy. So I hope it makes you happy too. I love when you come say hi and take the time out of your pen show experience to come say hi to me. I appreciate that. And it makes me happy to know that the weird stuff I do on here helps you out or serves you well. That's important. Um, I have new goodies to play with and try out and my heart is very full. So that's pretty much my recap. I mean, you got, of course you want to know what I brought home, right? And you are curious like what am i going to do with it well i'm going <laughs> to i'm going to share them in posts and everything i just had a really nice time and i just wanted to take the time to share it with you so if you're thinking about a pen show i think it's a great idea and if you have any questions or you have any tips you want to share with others who may be new to pen shows please do chime in below and that's everything yeah i just it was really nice. So next pen show will be the Scriptus pen show in Toronto. It's on October 30th. If you are out and about, I urge you to come visit because it's a really nice show. And that's everything. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go now. And thank you so much for watching. And again, a huge shout out to Applebaum for making my attendance possible at this show. I had a wonderful time. Anyways, I'm gonna go. We will see you next time for the next video. Take care and stay inky, but also ink responsibly and all that stuff. Bye!